a research update on hearing loss and tinnitus. In collaboration with Professor Richard Salvi from University at Buffalo, Center for Hearing and Deafness Research, we have studied the relationship between hearing loss and tinnitus loudness in over 400 patients. It is common knowledge that as we get older, or because of the loud environmental noises, our hearing deteriorates over time. Age-related hearing loss is a very slow process and it is estimated to be about 5 decibel per decade. However, in individuals with tinnitus, it is a common concern that if their hearing worsens for any reasons, it may lead to an increase in the loudness of their tinnitus to a level that they would not be able to cope with. The more people get anxious about their tinnitus, it is more likely for it to remain in the focus of their attention and for them to notice it more. People may also engage in safety-seeking behaviours in a form of avoidance of day-to-day -day environmental noises in a fear that it may cause a hearing loss or worsening of their tinnitus. This can lead to emergence of hyperacusis. Our results showed that severity of hearing loss was indeed related to the loudness of their tinnitus. So in some ways, the fear expressed by some patients was real. However, the relationship between tinnitus loudness and severity of hearing loss was extremely weak. In their study, Hashir and Richard also assessed the relationship between tinnitus annoyance and the loudness of tinnitus, which was shown to be a very strong relationship. In fact, the relationship between annoyance and tinnitus loudness was 20 times stronger than hearing loss and tinnitus loudness. Other studies shown that when tinnitus-related distress and anxiety is minimized, tinnitus loses its significance, and it is more likely for it to fade away to the background. Our study showed that the amount that people get annoyed by their tinnitus is the key contributing factor to the perceived loudness of the tinnitus, and therapy can help with that. Therapy can help them to explore the mechanism in which tinnitus produces annoyance and help them to modify that. To learn more, follow Dr. Hashe Arj on Twitter, LinkedIn, and his clinic website.